whenever you're ready. Okay, well, welcome and happy Friday, everybody. We're going to be doing some drumming today. So you are coming live, or I'm coming to you live from my garage. We're not gonna do any fancy tech. I do have African drums here, but they're a little boomy. So on top of the African drums, I have put practice pads, which are like these little kind of rubber pads. They're, they either sound like that or like that. And uh, we're just gonna start out, we're gonna mute all of you. Uh, if all you have are your hands and your lap, that's fine too. And what we're gonna start with is we're gonna start with the right hand and we're gonna do eight notes on the right hand. And then we're gonna do eight notes with the left hand. And we're gonna do that for a little while just to kind of get comfortable and warmed up. And then I'll sort of count you down. I'll say like four, three, two, one, stop. And then we'll do something else. Okay, so we're gonna take it about like one, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. same speed about one two ready go one two three four one two three four So two on the right, two on the left, one, two, here we go. keeping a nice steady uh, beat and just getting comfortable. So you can again play, you know, tap on your lap. You can use uh, wooden spoons, a pot and pan, a bucket, whatever you have. You can put music on and do that same thing. Do eights to the music, fours, twos, ones, whatever you like, just kind of playing along. Um, so the next thing we'll do is a call and response. 
And so basically I'm gonna play something, I might do something like dun, 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 dun. And then it will be your turn to play, uh, it's kind of like Simon Says. And then I'll give you time to play it and then it'll be my turn again. So let's just try this. And of course I can't hear you, but I'm assuming you're all playing what I'm playing. So, um, so here we go. Boom, 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 boom. Dun, 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 dun. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 -da. Boom, boom, clap. Boom, boom, clap. Boom, boom, ba, ba. Boom, boom, ba. Boom, boom, ba, da, ba, ba. Boom, boom, 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 ba, boom, ba, ba, ba. Don't don't da, don't don't da. Don't don't da, don't don't da. Don't don't da, don't don't. Da. Don't, don't. don't don't da, don't don't da. All right, and now you could actually play in different locations. So if you have more than one thing to play, three pots and pans, three frisbees, whatever you have in front of you. So for instance, I have three things here. So I have one over here. One here, one here. I like to play on top of a phone book, phone books, keep things from bouncing around. So um, I do have real drums, but they're too noisy. So I'm gonna try it with different drums and you try the same thing. And of course I'm a mirror image, so it might be kind of different. Like when I'm going to my right, you might be going to your right, which is over that direction. But just experiment with playing in different places uh, and again, if you're using your lap, you could do your thigh, your knee, you know, your shoulders, clapping, whatever. So let's just try multiple kind of things. So here we go. Bum, bum, da, da. Dun, dun, da. Boom, boom. Dun, 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 dun. Ba. Dun, dun, da. Dun, dun, da. So just kind of fun to try playing in different places. You can put music on and do that. That would be good. So I think the next thing we're going to do is the rhythm guide. And Valerie's going to help us out. She's going to post a little poster. And we're going to experiment with some of these. I call these little ditties. They're like little songs. And if you notice when you're speaking, awesome. I love it. And it's colorful and everything. We're going to try a few of these. We're going to start with apple pie. And we've done some of this in our class before. And we're getting really tired of the pepperoni pizza and the mashed potatoes. So it's some, something new here. Um, but if you think about speech <clears throat> being very rhythmic, and if you just hear speech, you kind of start to notice some, some of the notation. So for instance, apple pie, you can see that the apple, you know, is like two things kind of together. Those are called eighth notes. And they're faster than the pi note. That's a quarter note. So it's going to be like fast, fast, slow. So you'll get the idea. So I think in a minute, sometimes people are visual. They like to see this. Sometimes people would rather not see this. It's too overwhelming. They just want to hear it or watch. But if it helps you, I think it's kind of fun. So we're just going to play apple pie over and over about like one, two, here we go. sort of permutations. We could do right, 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 left, left, left. All those are possible. So let's experiment. Uh, why don't we do right, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left. One, two, here we go. 
And we're just going to do apple pie with the left hand, you know, left, left, right, left, left, right. One, two, here we go. So if you have a bucket, you can play on the top, the side. If you have two things to tap on, find a different place for the left lefts. I'm going to move over to these. I'm going to go left, left, right, left, left, right. One, two, here we go. to some music. So let's try another one. Let's try a little bit more complicated one. We're going to try cinnamon oatmeal, cinnamon oatmeal. And as far as the sticking, sticking means the rights or the lefts, usually we're going to go alternate starting with the right hand. So it'd be like right, left, right. And then we would do right, left. But you know, whatever's comfortable for you, you can do whatever you want. You could do, some people might like right, right, left, um, or again, the alternated way, right, left, right, however you want, but it's cinnamon oatmeal. One, two, here we go. Cinnamon oatmeal. changing the sticking, changing where you play it. You could actually experiment with loud and soft. You could play part of it loud and part of it soft. Um, so this, the, you know, it's endless. Rhythm is kind of endless and that's the, the fun of all this. So let's do um, tater tot casserole. Okay, so is anybody getting hungry? It's lunchtime. Some of these sound pretty good. I don't know that I've ever had tater tot casserole, but I'm sure it's probably delicious. Um, so we're just gonna do tater tot casserole. One, two, here we go. Tater tot casserole. 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 Tater tot casserole.
Let's see. I don't know, Valerie, if you can make the screen go up a little bit. That one's kind of cut off a bit, I think. Um, at least on my screen, I might have a little tiny screen. Oh, there we go. So there's the tater tot casserole. Bum, 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 bum. We're going to do another one in the bottom row there. We're going to do the strawberry ice cream. And you kind of notice it's almost uh, similar to the cinnamon oatmeal, but that figure is kind of flipped a little bit. And we won't get into why that is right now, but just know it's going to sound different. Um, just to kind of give you just a hint is when you look at the strawberry ice cream, that very first note has only one thing that's attached to the top of it. Whereas when you look at the cinnamon oatmeal, there's like two little lines. And so the more lines you have, like two lines, those are faster notes, which means they're worth less. So they're, they're faster, but they don't get the same amount of time. So strawberry ice cream, the straw is pretty long, whereas the cinnamon were kind of three quick in a row. This one's gonna be long, short, short on the strawberry, long, short, short, versus the uh, cinnamon oatmeal is like short, short, long, the long was at the end. So if that blows your mind, don't worry about it. We're just gonna play it. But it's exactly like strawberry ice cream. So the straw is a little longer and you can stick it again however you want to. And so if you wanna go right, left, left, you can or you can alternate however you're comfortable. But the rhythm is gonna be strawberry ice cream. One, two, here we go. Strawberry ice cream, strawberry ice cream, strawberry ice cream, strawberry ice cream. link these things together and create kind of like a song which um, we might do next week so once you guys have access to this and you kind of get a little bit comfortable with it I'm gonna write a song that's gonna have different components that we'll put together and you all are really kind of like reading music or at least learning some of the different relationships in the music so that's kind of kind of cool I thought the last one we would do for today is avocado toast it's pretty close to pepperoni pizza, which is one that we've done in the past. We're just going to drop off the za of the pizza. So instead of going pepperoni pizza, we're just going to be going avocado toast. All right, so here we go. Again, you can put it where you want, stick it the way you want, but mostly it's back and forth. If you really do it the, the way that it would be in real drumming, it would be right, left, right, left, right. And if you're a lefty, you get to start with your left hand. If you're playing in a drum line, even if you're a lefty, you'd have to start with your right hand. That's just kind of how it goes so that you look the same. Um, so we're going to do avocado toast. One, two, here we go. Avocado toast. Avocado toast. see me while this is posted can they see me too uh yes they y'all can see her right yes thumbs up yes okay good so like when i'm doing the different stickings all right great so do we have the ability to look at lesson two 
Yes, let me pull that up. Let me stop this okay. and share. There we go. All right. I'm going to unmute everybody real quick just to see, make sure they could all see you when that screen share was up. Okay. Yes. Sorry. She's you. tiny. It would be neat if she were bigger and took up half the screen. Yeah, that's part of the screen share. Um, I'm not on there anywhere. You're probably at the top because they all, it only shows so many people. Um, let me people see. are with us today. We have Hi. 19. Awesome. Okay. Well, class. Better. I think we're getting better at this. We're learning what works and what doesn't work. So again, we welcome your feedback because um, we'll adjust and keep doing this and making it better. I think this is working out better than what we've done in the past. While we're actually doing that, um, let's talk about the spirit drum. So I actually have it here. Karen, which lesson did which lesson did you say? I'm sorry. Let's do lesson two. Okay, lesson two. And uh, while we're doing that, I'm gonna play a little prelude music. So the spirit drum is this metallic uh, object here. Looks like a spaceship, I guess. Kind of looks like a spaceship, right? I'm just gonna play a, a minute of the spirit drum just to kind of transition to the next section. something that you pound on it could be some little random wind chimes or something like that so when we do that quiet part you could actually have something that you could a little bell or something that you could uh, kind of play that would be fun so we're gonna look at this lesson two so don't worry about it. if it freaks you out don't look at it look at me um, we're not gonna do the number one the first line we're gonna do the second line and we have done this rhythm a whole bunch of times in the past. But just for those of you who are interested. Mm. And it's basically, again, we're looking at lesson two and we're looking at the second line, not the first line. And it's basically gonna go like this. And so I thought what we would do is play this together. And for those of you who want to look at the music, you can. If you don't, you can watch me or you can close your eyes and just listen. But basically, we're going to play the whole thing all the way till the end. And if you look carefully at the very end, there's two little dots at the very end of the line of each line. Those two dots mean repeat. So we go back to the beginning. We play it a second time. Each one of those little segments is called a measure. And so we're gonna actually be playing it eight times. We're gonna play each measure once. At the end of the line, that's four. We repeat, we get another four. We're gonna play it eight times. Okay, so I'm gonna give you four. One, two, here we go. One, two, three, four, two. end one more afterwards just to kind of complete it otherwise you kind of feel like you're left hanging there so let's do a few more of these so if we were to look at number three and again we're going to play it eight times because we're going to repeat this one has those two notes that are faster um, and the way you count that is one and so it would be like one and two three four the two and the three and the four last a bit longer and the um the one and are shorter and they have to fill the space 
that the other ones by themselves get. So if you imagine a pizza box and you were to separate your pizza into four, right, four separate pieces of pizza, that would be the notes that aren't attached, that are just like colored in and have a stem that goes to the top. They're called quarter notes because there's four of them and they pretty much fit in the measure. So it's like four pieces of pizza. And if you look at that beginning one that's attached, those are called eighth notes. And basically two of those fit in the space of what used to be a quarter of your pizza. Now you have an eighth, so they're faster. So again, if that blows everybody's mind and gives you nightmares about fractions in fifth grade or whenever they do it nowadays, um, don't worry about it. But for those of you who want to know, sometimes this is kind of helpful. So, um, so I'm going to sing it and then we're going to play it. It's basically going to go one and two, three, four. One, two, here we go. One and two, three, four. Two. Again, we get to add that last note that's after it's over with, just so we don't feel like we're hanging there left without sort of the ending, the resolution of the song. So the next one, which is number four, it's a lot like number two, except for we're reversed. Number two was da 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 da. Number four is da 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 da. You kind of get the idea how this is starting to go. So let's try number four together. One, two, here we go. One, two. rights and lefts. You can do them if you want to, but if you feel more comfortable just doing whatever you want. As far as the sticking or some, some people call it handing. If you're playing hand drums, it's called handing and sticking, it's called sticking and that basically means which ones are rights and which ones are lefts. So let's look at number six. Let's just jump right in there. One, two, here we go. One, just a bit. It looks like number eight might be just a little cut off. There we go. Yeah, let's finish it out. Number eight. One, two, here we go. try. So we'll go ahead and get rid of that. And I thought we would do something that we were going to do in our live class um, a while back. I promised some of you. I know Molly was interested in this. So I'll give you a minute to run to your kitchen if you can. If you don't want to, you don't have to. But most people have these, even though we're trying to recycle in the world, usually we somehow end up with a few of these bags. 
these little plastic grocery type bags and they make great instruments especially if you live in an apartment and you don't want to bang on buckets and make a lot of noise so if you have two of these if you can get them that's great and i'll show you some of the things you can do with it if you don't have it and you don't want to get up and you're comfortable you can just simulate with your arms in a moment so the way that i'm gonna kind of talk about this is if we were to open the bags up and hold them by the handles we could actually do this kind of a thing and make a whooshing sound okay so if you have your bags great if you don't you can just kind of do some shoulder exercises and try to kind of get them so that air goes in so it does make a kind of a whooshing sound so let's just try it if you happen to have your bag join along otherwise just watch me be silly i guess um so i'm just going to do right and then left okay so about like one two here we go one two three four one two three four one two three So it'll be like one, two, one, two. So here we go. One, two, 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 one, and stop. Then we call those wishes, okay? There's actually music written for this, believe it or not. And so that's a single wish. Um, we're going to do a double whoosh. A double whoosh is two at the same time. All right, let's give it a try. So I'm just going to go whoosh, whoosh, and it's a double whoosh. Here we go. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Okay, so for instance, I'm just going to do this, this kind of thing. And stop. The other thing we can do is this makes like a choo choo train sound. And so for instance, um, we want to kind of do. Kind of like a choo-choo. So what you do, if you're um, righty, the right hand gets to do all the work. If you're lefty, the left hand can do all the work. So I'm gonna, I'm a righty, so I'm gonna hold my left hand still, and my right hand's gonna do the majority of the work. That way I don't have to do this kind of thing. Okay, so if I just do this, and every now and then I'll do like almost like an accent. So you could actually make like a choo-choo sound. So we've got all kinds of things we can do. We can whoosh, we can double whoosh, we can clap, we can, and this can be turned into music. And if we were all together, we could do a wave where we go down, you basically take your right hand first, and then it goes around the room, and then maybe we come back with the left hand. Okay, so we can have all kinds of fun with paper bags even, which is pretty cool. 
So let's see, I'm just gonna check my time here. How we doing? Okay, so we've got lots of time. Um, I thought what we would do next is maybe some instruments. I know we've kind of done some of these instruments before. So I don't know what you have available. So here's just a tambourine. So it's got little jingles on it. You can actually make one of these out of a paper plate. You could actually take a paper plate, um, especially one maybe that's plastic, not, not, not so much the flimsy uh, paper. Use a, one of those little hole punches. You could punch a couple of holes and then you could tie on those a little bell, kind of like a little um, jingle bell type of thing. And voila, you got a tambourine. So, you know, there's all kinds of things that you could do to be creative to make music and you don't have to have a lot of fancy stuff. Um, so anyway, here's a nice tambourine sound. And this one actually has a little coating on it. So you can use a stick on it. You can kind of like do that. But anything that has like something that can jingle, if you go in your garage and you see some little metal things, they can be tied on there. Even keys can be tied on there. You can turn a paper plate or a frisbee into a tambourine, which is pretty cool. Um, other things that you could do at home, you know, here's an example of a triangle. Oh, and mine actually, here we go, it's got a little clamp. But you could find some kind of metallic object and another kind of something to strike with could be an Allen wrench, anything like that. But you can actually probably create your own little triangle at home. You notice that the, each side has different pitches, so you can do this kind of thing. So anyway, I know you've all seen the triangle, but just giving you ideas for making instruments at home. Here's an example of those sleigh bells. These could pretty much be easily made from, I don't know, sometimes they sell these for dog collars and things like that. You could be creative, put them on some kind of a little Velcro thing. This one, you can put it around your wrist or your ankle and make, make sounds that way. Pretty awesome. Here's one I haven't really showed much in class, but it's pretty cool. It's, it's a store-bought one, but you could probably do something similar and just need something to strike with and something that has kind of a head on it like this. Again, you could be kind of creative with frisbee or whatever you might have. So anyway, it gives you the idea of homemade kind of instruments. So I think what we'll do next is we'll come back and I'm just going to play something and you play what you think might sound good. You can always just click and keep time. Clap your hands or back and forth like this. Um, so I'll just do something that's about like, let's see, I'll do something with crossovers. So crossovers are kind of fun to think about. So if you're playing something, you cross your right hand over. So for instance, so if I have three things and I start like this, The right hand is crossing over, and you can easily do this on your lap. So if you're just like, you know, so it gives you, it looks cool, looks cool, and actually, you know, it's a nice little visual thing. So let's do that. Ready, here we go. here to these two, my left hand could be the one that gets to cross over. I'm still going to start with my right hand, so I'm just going to go right, left, right, and that's going to be the cross. Okay, so I'm going to start with the right hand, and I'm going to do a left hand, another right, and then I start doing the crossing over business. Okay, one and two, and here we go. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's do this. Let's start with the 
left hand. That makes it easier, doesn't it? So we'll go left, right, cross. Here we go. Left, right, cross. And left, right, cross. And left, right, cross. Really important is the one who's not crossing. So if this one's not crossing, I have to keep it kind of low. If I'm way up high, I gotta go way over. So I'm gonna keep this one kind of low so this one doesn't have to work so hard. Okay, so let's kind of focus on that. This hand's gonna stay low. Ready, here we go. trade things. So let's say I'm between these two. I can do together and then I can trade and together and trade and together. And now when you trade, you could do the right hands over the top or the left hand. You get to choose, but basically it's together and trade and together and trade. You can switch however you like. So let's just try that. Ready? Here we go. Together and trade and together and trade and together and trade. Or we could go the other way. Or we could alternate. One time, one's over. The other one's over the next time. So endless possibilities. And it looks cool. And you can go far away. Maybe I might be too far away. You get the idea? You can also do clicks, stick clicks up in the air, that kind of thing. So putting that all together was lots of options. We've got rhythm. We've got sound, loud and soft, different places, different sounds. Um, it's just, you could go on and on and on. So I thought the way that we would end, I'm going to actually play some music, play a little music, and I'm going to kind of play along. I'm going to try to play a little quiet, and you play along too, what you think might sound good. This is going to be kind of an African type of style. So let's see how this sounds. Okay.
could slow that down, speed it up, play simply, play complicated. Takes uh, The cool thing about that particular little thing is we could take some of those different drums out. You could hear each individual part, which is kind of a neat little feature, a little function. So um, kind of interesting, and, and we can apply some of the rhythms that we've done, which would be kind of fun to do as well. So, um, all right, so let's go back to a little bit more of a call and response now that we've done all these different things, just to kind of do something that we did in the beginning. So how about we do something, and again, if you feel free to play in different places or whatever. So, and I might use some of the things that we've done in the past, some of these different rhythms that we've been talking about. So here's one. because if I start with the right hand and do three things, now the next one's going to start with the left hand. And that gets kind of crazy for people in their mind. So what we'll do instead, we're going to do, um, you know, if you think about a waltz as a triplet, one, two, three, one, two, three. There's a special way that you dance to a waltz that's different than if you just dance regular to something that's in more of an even time. So let's do um, some stickings with triplets just to end it out today. So hopefully triplets aren't too crazy, but they're, they're kind of cool. So we're gonna go right, right, left, right, right, left, over and over and over. So let's try it. Ready, go. Right, right, left, right, right, left.
So you get the idea that triplets can be a lot of fun. We can work them out different ways. Why don't we try it where we go? One, two, three, one, two, three. So the right hand, then the left hand, all in one place. Ready, go. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So you get the ideas. Triplets can be a lot of fun. We can also do something that's odd, really odd, even more odd than that, is what if we did fives? We've never really talked too much about fives, but the way that you can get to five, if you think about it, you can do a four plus one, which is kind of weird. Um, more normal, kind of more musically normal, is a two plus a three, or a three plus a two. So for instance, I'm gonna do it with one hand. If I go one, two, three, four, five, that's kind of unusual, but if I go one, two, one, two, three, it actually isn't quite as bad. Uh, it, it isn't as hard to figure out. So like one, two, one, two, three, or one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two is easier than going all the way to five. And there are songs that are written that way or songs that are written in seven or nine or any other kind of crazy thing that you can think about. And there's some really famous songs, a lot of famous songs that are in three or five or what have you. So if we experiment with that just a little bit, one of the things that helps me think about five is if I say the word hippopotamus, that's five university so for instance if we're going to do this we'll start with the right hand and maybe we'll go five rights and five lefts so it'll be like university university okay so i know we're toward the end here this is kind of complicated but let's just give this a try we're going to do university starting with the right ready go university actually think about that. So let's see how are we doing for time. We have just a minute or two left. So I hope you enjoyed this this time uh, better than uh, you know we're getting better. So um, give us your feedback so we can keep doing this. Tell us what you like, what you want more of, less of, or what have you. And I think what I'd like to do is just maybe end us with some spirit drum and Feel free to play anything that you have around. I'm gonna play um, something kind of nebulous, no rhythm at all. Sometimes it's nice not to have rhythm, it's just kind of random, kind of quiet. So here we go.
happy drumming. All right, thank you all. Hope to see you next time. Thank you very much. See you next thank time. You. Thanks, thank you. Thanks, Karen. it. Thank you. We need to do it twice a week. <laughs> Thanks, I love it. it. It's great. <laughs> next week, we're doing plastic bags. Okay. Oh, that was lots of fun. We loved it. The classic right, scared my cats. They ran out of the room. I got bells. I got bells. Oh, no. And I got this bell. And I got a coffee can and spoons, and I'm going to run around and find more. Excellent. Good. All right, y'all. Okay. So do you normally teach adults, or do you teach children all these uh, after no, I teach adults. I teach, I used to teach children and now I teach all exclusively adults. But oh, that is ultra kids. cool. One problem I have is if I'm not watching you and I hear the music and I'm clapping or something, I'm not clapping on the beat. I don't get the beat or how to get it. Ah, uh, yes. Well, this, there's a little delay here, so it's a little weird. Um, that's why we don't have you trying to play along. But, um, you know, there's some free metronome programs that you can actually get on your phone that you could download. If you're interested, I could send you kind of the links for. But oh. with the metronome is really helpful, something that's kind of clicking where the beat is. And you can make it slower or faster. So that's something that we spend a lot of time in drums, like playing along with the metronome. Really all musicians play. Yeah. If I start clapping to the music and I look around, everyone's clapping on one beat and I'm clapping on another one. <laughs> uh, okay. And dance either. <laughs> Practice, for sure. Unless I count to it like a cha-cha. We'll have to um, get our wave down. I want to see the wave on Zoom. I think that'd be really cool. We, we like could, turn. Yeah, we could do that. We, we'll figure it out. Okay. For sure. Valerie, when I clicked on the big white map with the classes, it didn't go through that way, just to let you know. On what of the, the sheet, the big sheet that has all the classes for the whole week. Uh -huh. If you click on that, it says it won't go through. So we might be losing people because of that. It go you click on it, but then nothing happens. You have to go back and find another link somehow. Oh, that's odd. Click on the blue. Blue. No, it was this red and white sheet, you know, like the schedule that's at the front desk. That one. All right. Well, we'll I'll look at that. It should. It's, I'll see what happened there. But all right. Well, I'm gonna go to the next class, Karen. Thank you. I think it was great. Okay. Good. Did you record this one? Yes. Will you send? It to you? Yes, I will. Right. Yes, I'll send it to you now. Okay. Thank you. Awesome. You're cool. Thanks, y'all. Cool. Uh, we, we like you. You're cool. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. -bye. Bye.